Well, well, what's this? Dry ground. No mud. Look at it. Oh, there's a seal. Yeah. Here. back at wells next to the sea oh we love it here you know we do but uh for newcomers actually welcome on board if you've recently subscribed and uh we often frequent the north norfolk coast uh, we're currently in the area of wells and uh we're booked on at pinewood site as usual so uh we'll be uh it's about 10 a.m now we've just been for a walk along that north norfolk coastal path which is lovely as you just saw uh we're parked in the car park and uh, Kirsty's just popped out to get some bits. It was empty when we got here, it was just filling up now. But it's a lovely day, we can't believe it. And the dogs are just uh, here waiting. And uh, we're just gonna have something to eat first. And then we'll get up, we'll get to the site. Hopefully, we, because there's like a real strong easterly wind, and there usually is actually on the North Norfolk coast. Yeah, I've asked for a pitch so that the side of the this this side of the van, which is facing east actually now, faces the wind, so that if we're sat, if we can get out today and actually get the chairs out for the first time ever, we can sit here. I won't feel the wind as bad, but uh, that'd be nice if we can get the chairs out and actually get the awning out or roll the canopy awning out. We'll see. Put down there, please. Right. Put down. The sun is out. <laughs> what is that? Blue sky. So let's go to Pinewoods. All the way, a mile that way. Oh, did you bring the mat in? Yeah, it went out. Go out over there and out that way. Where? Straight forward and left, no? Can you go that way? Yeah, I think we, uh, <clears throat> I mean, as you know, we've been parking up here in the winter, just coming out for the day um, when Pinewoods was closed. We've had a nice sort of day in the car park and gone yeah. for a walk, haven't we? But we didn't realise that the motorhomes <laughs> park park up here. 
park over there. Coaches only, it's saying. And I'll show you there, look. Coaches only. And there's the warden. Well, parking attendant, not warden. But I think one parked there, so then they all parked there. I don't uh, think we weren't in anyone's way. We weren't sticking out of our space, were we? No, I've got to put my glasses on. The sun. Because of all this sun. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I woke up this morning, saw this big orange ball in the sky and thought, can't be. But yeah, anyway, we got that north, we got that easterly, typical North Norfolk, easterly wind. Quite harsh today, actually. So as I said before, hopefully if we can get, you know, back back on somewhere where we the, the, the other side of the van faces the wind. Yeah. You know, and our door, hopefully, the canopy on in will be in the, you know, in the. Thank you. Non-windy bit. Yeah. In the non-windy bit. Sorry if I'm, I'm supposed to be filming here, but I'm half sort of going down. Concentrating. Yeah, concentrating. I don't want to have an accident with that. That looks rather expensive. Woo, what is that? Don't oh. know. Morgan. Was that Morgan? I, I think it might have been a Morgan, yeah. Well, we got here this morning at what? Quarter past nine? No, before that, weren't it? No, I think it was about quarter past. Well, anyway, it was nothing like this. It was empty. Look at it now. I remember coming down here in the Bolero, holding my breath all the time, holding my belly in. Especially coming around this corner here. They've put that mini roundabout in, haven't they, over the last year or so? Yeah. And this bit's absolutely lovely. I mean, I've done countless fish and chip videos coming up and down here on my bike. Yeah. Um, harbour wall on a nice summer's day when it's not windy that harbour wall just up there to your right is absolutely beautiful isn't it yeah it's lovely because you've got all the view over there to the left of the campsite I don't know if you can see the campsite in the distance and then you've got the marina sorry the harbour next to this uh, where all those people are walking up there and it's just perfect really isn't it you've got the town behind us the town of Wells. I think it's about a mile walk from the campsite. Yeah, this mile. Yeah, this is a mile from where we've just left the car park. I think it's a little bit more actually. A little bit more than a mile. There is a little shop on the site though. Yeah, there's a little shop on site. Facilities are nice. Oh, push button shower. I might add. I've been told off for not mentioning that. Yeah. So yes, the facilities are nice, but they are a push button shower. It's only just opened this week, isn't it? I think it was this week it opened, yeah. Seems to be quite a few people on there. It, it looks rather busy to me. I'm going to walk, when you come out, I'm going to walk these down to the pitch, give you time to set up, get yeah. on. <laughs> Not even opened any windows yet. Um, here? No, I'll, I'll go out right there. Where? Just outside like that. You're allowed to? <laughs> yeah. Ho. Right, so Kirst is deserted me by the looks of it, so we shall just, um, we're on pitch number 25, which is what we requested because all of those pitches are along the back section. If the wind is blowing east, you won't get it, <laughs> hopefully. Well, that's the theory anyway, as long as it blocks us and doesn't feel cold, you know, when that wind's blowing. Although the sun's out, 
and then we go again. Although the sun is out, and it has got a bit of strength to it, so it does feel nice. Oh, look at the railway. So that, as we, you remember that year, there used to be the train station. Ah, oh, all gone. Looks like staff car park now. I recognise this person. Hello. And no matter how many vans are on this site, there always seems to be space because if you notice the space between the pitches there. And a common sight on campsites these days. Um, the Alcoholics uh, Anonymous vans, where people have had a few too many. <laughs> oh, I hope they're all right. 25, 21, 20, 22, 23, 24, next to the Adria. 24, 25, that'll do nicely. A nice patch of new grass by the looks of it down there. So used to big in the, uh, back in the big Bolero one. I think forgetting I'm in a little um, little van conversion now. Okay, that'll do. Well, well, what's this? Dry ground, no mud. Look at it, and perfect out of the wind, just as I was hoping. There's a little bit, but nothing. Nothing to worry about. It's good to be back. You happy to be back here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It really is nice. So, I'm actually going to get the chairs out. <laughs> and maybe even open a window. Well, the door's open. That's the widest that door's been open since we've had the van, isn't it? Oh, yeah, you've got the fly screen. Yeah, you've got the fly. Yeah, that, we haven't even opened that yet. It's got these little catches here that you have to take off. I suppose little security things. Um, yeah, lovely, lovely. Oh, at last, we've waited so long for this moment, haven't we? Yeah, lovely. Right, let's set up. set up 
but I've got a job. I need to, we bought a uh, new temperature gauge. Our last one was a liar. So we bought this one. No time on it though, but indoor and outdoor. Um, 18 at the moment because it's up the front here. I haven't cable tied it. So I've got to look for a place. I don't know if you remember our last one was um, cable tied to the bike rack. I think I've got some cable ties. So I've got to find somewhere underneath where to put this outdoor sensor. And we'll see. Well, I've got to get under there and have a look. It's not like I've got any room to work under there or see anything properly, but oh. hope she's happy with that. One job taken care of. The state of it out there. What? That picture looks like the clampings have turned up. No, it doesn't. It does. So. <laughs> At this moment, we're trying to to put this windbreak up, which is should be a hurricane break. Up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, th this is good. Thanks for tuning into the Frenchies channel. <laughs> Please subscribe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's free. Right, let's, let's help them get this windbreak up. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, who are you? <laughs> I'm so glad I got to try my chair out. <laughs> She's snoring. Well, they're nice and tired. We've just got back from a walk, actually. I couldn't take you with us because the wind is battering us. We really are getting a um, strong easterly wind. Uh, Kirsty got me that from in town. Got a nice mug there. And it looks like I've got to get back under the van because for some reason that sensor is reading nothing. <laughs> yeah, the wind is coming through. You can really feel it up here in the, from, from the skylight. When you close the blind like that, you're getting loads of that. And it is open here, this part of, uh, I mean, this part of, England is flat anyway. East Anglia is known to be really flat. And as you can see, look at that. The wind's just coming across there. But a lovely day. It really is a nice day. And it feels nice to actually be in the van now when it's not dark outside. So we're, we're enjoying it. We're just gonna have a coffee. And um, then I'm gonna get back underneath the van, see what the problem is. So you think I'll press something on it? I don't know if there's a button so you can change the channel or a switch of some sort, but it's not picking up the signal. Yeah, that ain't working.
windstorm a few weeks back. It's made a, a bit of a mess in this forest that we always come in. Not forest, in the, in the actual pine woods. And uh, I'm listening for a crunch <laughs> because you never know what trees have been weakened. And something could come down at any time. Drag, potentially drag the rakes behind the boat. Good idea. I'm up for that. Good. <laughs> Don't drive the boat, you'll set the dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> now it all comes out. <laughs>